looks <laughs> like we are live. Live again. and in and in living colors. Go fast Facebook Wednesday series with Jonathan Mercado. Wait, Wait um, no Jonathan Mercado. Johnny, oh. it's it's Valentine's Day and Johnny is uh, is gonna bow out for today. He's uh, feeling a little bit under the weather, so if you guys are on the phones and you speak to Johnny, just uh, just tell him hope you pass that stone. He's having some issues there. But, you, can, uh, you can get him on the phone right now, right as now. a matter of fact, though. So. And, and break his chops if you yeah. like. So it's like a, still a win for his dealers. You can still get a little bit of Jonathan right. between that sweet spot between 10 and 11 on a Wednesday. <laughs> right, he'll probably be less angry today, right? Because <laughs> he's having a little bit of pain. So, never, Johnny, feel better. I hope everything works out for you soon. Yeah, but he is here. He is yeah. here. So he is here with us. But, yes, yeah, so thank you again, everybody, for tuning in to our Facebook Live series. Going to have some, uh, some new stuff for you. And then we're going to go over some stuff as well. So we're going to be pounding in uh, a couple dates into your guys' head. The first of which is going to be something we talked about last week, in which we uh, went over Go Fast Victory in the Distributor of the Year. So thank you to uh, everybody that voted. Thank you for everybody that supported us. Go check that uh, episode out. We, give it, we, we put a little more uh, sauce on that one. But there's another very, very important uh, K-Fest date that's going to be oh, coming yes. up. Coming up soon. Coming up soon. It's going to be uh, June 7th through the 9th. Uh, it's going to be uh, K-Fest in Atlantic City. It's the first time that they're ever doing a uh, Knowledge Fest in the Northeast. Uh, we've been kind of like the redheaded stepchilds of the entire country, right? Because they do uh, Vegas, they do Dallas, they do, they've do they done Indianapolis, and then recently they, they used to do uh, Orlando. So the Orlando uh, uh, Knowledge Fest is now Atlantic City. So all of us here in the Northeast get that opportunity, right? Because it's super expensive to fly to Vegas, stay in Vegas, eat in Vegas, oh, yeah. uh, get a, an Uber in Vegas. All of it's super expensive. So this will be a little bit less less costly, and it'll be something where you could bring you and your team down to Atlantic City. It's a couple hours ride from here in, in Connecticut. Um, but see that see, see what uh, what all the buzz is about. Uh, I think that the Knowledge Fest in Atlantic City is going to be huge because it's just hasn't have we haven't had that here in the Northeast, and we can draw from so many different territories. Right, Atlantic City, especially in the summer, it's going to be just it's a great place to be. A lot of fun. Bring the family, uh, spend some time on the boardwalk, or let the family spend some time on the boardwalk, and then come in and get your your knowledge on at Knowledge Fest, and then visit us uh, at, at a booth. Go Fast will have a Pretty large booth. I was, I was just talking to the folks. We're gonna have a, a fairly large booth, but you know what we're also gonna be doing. Ooh, this is this is the the real. Uh... So whenever you go, whenever you do, you know, all, all of us that have done CES or SEMA, there's always that one party that that kind of kicks off the event, and that one party that everybody wants to be a part of, and we're going to host with our with, with our EDA partners, Davis Distribution. The, shout out to the guys at Dave, Davis Distribution. Those guys are top notch. Uh, we're going to host a party uh, that first night. Uh, the, it's going to be the 7th of June. You guys are going to want to be, not only come to Dallas Fest, but you want to be at that party. It's going to be that that hot party that everybody uh, wants to be a part of, and we're going to be hosting it. Yeah, it's a great way to kick off the festivities. Again, there's going to be a lot of knowledge. Again, Knowledge Fest, a lot of learning, a lot of bettering your business. But you can also treat it as a little bit of a getaway. Again, oh, you, yeah. don't, you don't get to stray away from your shops very, very much. So we want to give you something really, really fun to do to kick everything off. So I believe this is going to be an invite-only affair as well. So. Yes. So you're going to want to you're, uh, listen in uh, to, to our Facebook Lives, uh, talk to your, to your GoFast rep. As, as we get closer, we are going to have a registration. And, uh, you know, because it's going to be a party where it's, uh, where it's going to be expensive. It's going to be something uh, where we're going to have food and drink and music. So it'll be by, you'll, you'll have to register and you'll have to get that invite. So definitely check in with your GoFast sales rep that you want to be on that list. Yeah, and let us know that you guys are planning on going. Again, it is it is something where when you think of KFest, like Bob was saying, you think of traveling really, really far. You think about having to do hotel and all these other kind of things that go along with it. But we have a large portion of our territory. Again, GoFast reach keeps extending. We have our Metro New York, our upstate New York family, that this is going to be a, an opportunity to go where maybe you don't even have to stay in a hotel. Maybe it could be something you drive to and you stay. Again, you, if you want to spend multiple days, you probably want to have a hotel unless you want to make that commute. But it's going to be a very, very short ride for, for a lot of our Go Fast family. Sure. So again, this is going to be something. Let us know that you're planning on going. We'd love to see what kind of support uh, Go Fast is going to get there. We want a huge support for K Fest. 
And if you are somebody that's maybe in the, the upper portion of New England or where it's going to be a little bit farther and you do have uh, some traveling to do, still let us know. Uh, let us know your interest in there. Start booking that stuff now and uh, make sure you, you, if you do plan on going, Make sure you keep that Friday night on. Uh, yeah, keep that open because that's going to be fun. It's it, that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I think that uh, you're just kicking off the event. It's going to be almost kicking off the summer, um, and it's going to be in a great venue. It's going to be uh, it's it's going to be the, the hot party. So definitely want to want to uh, check in with us on that. Yeah. So again, definitely more to come. We got a long ways to go on there. I know some of your schedule books maybe don't even have a June in there. I mean, hopefully it does. But <laughs> but if you want to put that on there, make sure we're not scheduling. Uh, uh, any times in there and also maybe look at the rest of the family coordinate do a little vacation or something like that again sure. during the summer turn it into a nice fest and come support go fa uh, go fast and uh, the whole mobile electronics association at k fest it's going to be awesome you now we have another uh, 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 i'll say it's an event going on not necessarily like a k fest but we're gonna be doing a grand opening at the hicksville location as well you know it's been there, guys. Yeah, I mean, as a matter of fact, there, right? as a matter of fact, for, for all of our dealers that are in uh, are in the uh, you know Nassau County, Suffolk County, Queens, even Brooklyn, uh, we've got a, a warehouse in Hicksville. Um, I just we were taking pictures of it uh, just recently. I was, I was talking to Mike Kava, who's one of our sales reps down there. The the showroom is starting to round out. We're starting to, to really set it up, and we want to kind of make it uh, that type of place where you guys can go to pick up. You can go and go to to the warehouse, go go through, see what what items are available. Uh, we want to make it kind of a, a dealer friendly place. So if you guys are already in that area, give Mike a call, give Edwin a call, uh, go go on down, visit the place. Um, you'll you'll see that it's uh, it, it's we're, we're going to have a place where you guys can go pick up. It's you can be comfortable, feel comfortable, look around, get some ideas uh, of what's what's available. All right, versus you know, kind of like almost having that that mini little little shop or, or K Fest or the, the kind of like that mini shop where you can go and see what's what's available. And you and you'll get a lot of one on one attention too. Instead of having to go around and go to the booth, nope, Mike gonna take you right around. Mike will take you. Right. will take you right around. Go <laughs> Absolutely. See you want. But yeah, Jonathan and I talk about this uh, on some of the other uh, other shows as well. Here, I mean, we're obviously at the mothership, so we're here at the big warehouse. A lot of our dealers come down, and it's the same story every single time, whether it's myself, whether it's Barry, whether it's Jonathan showing guys around. It's always, oh, man, I didn't know you carried this. Right. Oh, I didn't know you had access to this. Oh, you guys are in this category as well. And it should be something that everybody should be aware of. You guys should be on GoFST.com. The sales guys should be going over all the lines that we carry all the time. But there's only so much that you guys could take in on, on our phone calls and on our visits. You know, there's only so much time we have. When you're here, all it takes is a couple of turns of the head, and you're just like, man. Well, I had no idea that you were selling aisle. this. Right. Yeah, look at this. I don't know you had a whole Absolutely. aisle of these or a whole aisle of this. Or when did you get into this category? So there's always going to be something that you didn't know that we carried. And you always end up walking away with stuff, too. You always end up going with an order that you can go and then take back to your shop and then turn into some cash. So it's a win-win for everybody. And it's going to be a great opportunity to have that going on in Hicksville as well. So, again, I, I like that we're calling a grand opening. It sounds good. I like the word grand. It sounds really good. But it is there now. So you can get in there, a little sneak peek. But we're going to be doing something that's going to be coming in April. The exact date to be determined right now. But again, something to keep on the uh, on the radar. It will not be limited to the uh, to the folks that are in that area as well. If you're up in Connecticut, if you're in upstate New York, you're in Maine, you're anywhere in our territory. If you want to go down, check out that warehouse. It will be open to uh, to everybody as well. The other cool thing about that, Ben, is that we're launching out of there, and it's going to be part of our grand opening. But it's available today. Uh, we're going to have we have a van down there, and we have delivery service. So as Mike, as you go in there and kind of get an idea of what's available and you know it's, it's not convenient to go down every time you need something but it's great to, to go see what what's going on there and kind of get a feel for it but when you, those times when you hey i'm busy i got things to do and you've got the you want to place that order for those big boxes or those big amps or those those things are just just prohibitive to ship via ups or fedex we've got delivery service down there give us a give mike a call give edwin a call schedule a delivery for your product so 
is just another another service that we're offering down there. Kind of something that we do up here. At like yep. I love the way you say you call it the mothership. We do that up here, uh, and uh, we've got a van out every day, and it's going out to different parts of New England and helping our dealers minimize those costs. That is to 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 be able to keep their margins up and keep the business going. We've got that service down in New York, so definitely. Take advantage of that, guys. My New York guys, my my Long Island guys, NASA, Suffolk, Queens, Brooklyn. Give the give them a call. Get get something on order and have it delivered to your store. Yeah, again, there's going to be tons of stuff. Again, even even things like tin. You know, tin within itself so, is not a huge, huge, huge dollar amount item. But there's a lot of box here. There's a lot of air that's inside that box. When you start shipping stuff out UPS, especially when it comes to bulk orders or bigger orders. You don't want to give away that margin to UPS. We love UPS. They're a great partner with us as well. They help <laughs> us get you guys product next day. But it does cut into margins, and if you have the ability to take advantage of that van, it's just a way to help save yourself some money. And also, when we run things like our Kenwood promotion, we have a Kenwood promotion going on as well, right. you see some really great prices. You say, you know what, I think it's time to get some, uh, some stuff into the stock room. It makes taking advantage of those promotions a lot easier as well because you're not losing that margin to shipping. You're able to keep that all in house, get those boxes, get the tent, get the bigger stuff, the subs, you know, the speakers, the amps, all the stuff that, that really is very, very dense, weighs a lot. You're able to get that stuff delivered right to your door, and you know that that van's gonna be coming on the, the same regular frequency. You get that cadence down, and all of a sudden, you know, you're maybe coming down to check out the Hicksville Warehouse occasionally, but now the Hicksville Warehouse is essentially coming right to you to every you. week. So absolutely. And, uh, you know, to, to, your, to your point uh, in terms of, of, of that, that delivery and, and the margin, you know, we use that use that warehouse down there as your warehouse, right? So if you're if you're able to get products the next day, then you know in, in these days cash is king, right? Because it's just we don't know what's going to happen. Sixty degrees last week, and now there's six inches of snow outside. <laughs> so it's such a volatile time. Business is volatile. Use us as your as your warehouse because we're right down there in New York. You can get stuff that if if you have to go get it, go get it. It's we're open. If you need it delivered. We can do that. We can deliver it. If you need to ship UPS, we can do that also. So, and it's all next day, right? Of UPS, if you're in New York, it's, UPS is going to be next day ground. Use use us as your warehouse. Keep cash in your in, uh, in in where it belongs in the bank in your business, and make it make great margins at the same time when you're but when you're buying products from GoFast. So it's just a it, it's a service that works up here. We put we put it down there, and it's going to work down there. Just take advantage of it and make let's make some more money for you. That's a, a really big thing too. I think a lot of our guys actually use that in their sales pitches with their customers. I like that you said that. That this is not. It is. I mean, it is the Go Fast Warehouse. Let's let's not. Uh, you know, we, we don't need to say that it's not. It's not. But this is also your guys' warehouse. So when a customer calls in or a customer is standing in front of you. Okay, a lot of guys don't stock everything that they're going to carry. I don't think. How can you? Stock. How can you? It's, it's going to be nearly impossible. It's nearly impossible for us. We got a <laughs> mega <laughs> warehouse over here. Absolutely. So, so you can tell your customer, hey, I don't have it in stock right here at this location, but I do in my warehouse. That's a huge selling tool to be able to say my warehouse, and it is. Again, you're part of the Go Fast family, so this is your warehouse. And when customers ask, well, why don't you have this here? I don't need to stock it in, my, uh, in the store right here because I keep it in stock at my warehouse and I can get it to you next day. Again, it's, if you go, I just had to get tires put on the car. A lot of times they don't have the exact tires that you need uh, right on hand at the shop, but they get them to you really fast. A lot of times it's same day or next day because they got them at the local warehouse. They say, I got them at my warehouse. I don't know if that warehouse is theirs. I don't know if it's somebody else's. All I know is they get me my stuff the next day. So that's a huge, powerful tool for me, uh, you know, when you're selling me as a consumer, again, we're sales guys, but we're also consumers. So I know that works wonders with me. I can only imagine how your customers will feel, that warm, fuzzy feeling, knowing that you have that huge warehouse backing you up, just kind of pumps up your business, makes you sound as important as you guys really are out there. So again, w we can beat a dead horse on this for as long as we need to, but a <laughs> huge, huge, huge opportunity. So we'd love to see you down there and take advantage of all the warehouses, all the delivery options that we uh, we present here at Go Fast. And certainly stay tuned for more because we are gonna plan something uh, in, in the spring for uh, for as a grand opening to kind of invite people in, into the uh, into that uh, to warehouse to get a, a first-hand view. But don't wait for that. You guys can do that today. 
Yep, so I did briefly mention there, again, loading up on some of the Kenwood stuff. We do have some very, very aggressive Kenwood promos right now, especially on the CarPlay and Android Auto pieces. We can't talk pricing on here. Sometimes I wish we could because all if I said one price right now, oh, no. I got a feeling that that would immediately start uh, making the phones jingle. But you're going to have to trust me on this. Go on to GoFST.com while you're watching us right now. Pop up another window. You can see the prices that I'm talking about. But some huge discounts on there puts it into very aggressive price points. Even when talking about some of the more entry-level brands. Again, Kenwood is a top-tier brand. Right. They are starting to reach down to some entry-level brand pricing. So you're getting the quality and you're getting that great price. This is a huge promo that we have going on. Again, kind of a teaser. We're not going to go to specific models or anything like that, but get what your sales Right, call your GoFest sales rep because he'll, he'll uh, fill you in. And, you know, to, to your point, you know, we're, we do these these Facebook Lives, uh, and we're speaking to our customers, but, it, you know, it's on Facebook. Everybody can see it. So for us to be able to speak price would be would be uh, just ingenuous to our customers, right? We're protecting our customers. Um, this is for them, for, for them to be able to build and grow their businesses so we're here for we're here to support them so we really can't talk price because that's that's kind of confidential yeah but a lot of this is a reaction to prices that your customers are going to see so if uh, your customers were to go online and maybe do some research on some of the kenwood stuff there's a, a whole map holiday that they have going on so some stuff has been reduced it's going to help drive business for you guys absolutely Again, whenever these manufacturers do these price reductions or anything like that it always drives business but a great thing Kenwood did as well is they also said, hey, we're going to help you guys out as well. We're not going to just lower the price <laughs> of the customer and have you guys still pay the same. Nope, we're going to support you on the back end so you can still make similar margins on all that stuff. But expect to see some extra traffic. Uh, Here's some extra phone calls coming in on this kind of stuff. And GoFast has you covered. So a huge promo going on. Thank you to Kenwood for helping us out with that. And, uh, you know, give us a call and let us know uh, how we can help support that for you. Well, that's not the only uh, thing we got going on this month. Mm, I don't think that's not uh, go. That's not a go fast thing to do. No, like we only we only or... do one. No, never, never just do one. Uh, right now we're running um, a, a Sony GS speaker, the Love at First Beat. I like that Ooh, one. Look at Love that. at First Beat. It's, you know, for, it's, it's Valentine's Day. So I think it's all within it's, it's in the theme. And I tell you, uh, we sat through a training with the folks from Sony this uh, last night, and they're, the, those Sony GS speakers that they're, that they're selling today are phenomenal. And there's three things that I walked away from uh, from the training last night, and one of, the, one of them is just the margin, right? There are stupid margins for a retailer to make. You've got to call your GoFast sales rep to get some of the, the, uh, the down low on this, but... It's uh, it's a brand. Sony is is one of those brands. It's within the top five of consumer electronics uh, that are recognized by consumers. You and me and all of everybody in this uh, that are probably watching this, guys in this industry, we all know the brands. I mean, there's a ton of brands, and we all know them, and we know them up like the back of our hands. But the average consumer, I don't know all of the brands, but there's one brand I, do, I guarantee you that they know, and they know Sony. They know Sony from the, you know, if you're an old guy like me, you're, they remember the Walkman. Uh, you know, if, if you're, you're, you're uh, some of these, these, the kids these days, the PlayStation, uh, Sony TVs, the Trinitron. Sony is a name that, uh, it's a household name. People know that name. So it's, that's an easy sale, right? And that's an easy sale. When somebody comes in and they're looking for that, that, that entry level or mid-level speaker, and you start to, uh, you know, they, they're looking for a brand, they say Sony, that consumer immediately knows it's quality, it's a Sony piece, they probably want to, they want to hear it. Yeah, and again, if and I like to sometimes, because we get, I feel like we get uh, wrapped up in our own industry, we know too much about it. You know, sometimes when you know too much about things, you tend to overthink things, or some of the obvious things kind of get uh, overshadowed. But imagine if you're going to shop for any other number of products, could be a refrigerator, could be whatever, there's gonna be a few brands that, that are recognizable to you. There could be other brands that you don't know that are great, Absolutely. but as a consumer, you really don't know. So when you see a storefront that offers a brand that you know, it adds instant credibility. Whether or not you end up buying that product or not at the end of the day, 
it still lends huge credibility that, hey, this retailer can carry this huge brand. That huge brand gets to be in whatever showroom that they want. They could probably pick it. They're here. They're at Bob's Car Stereo. Man, that's got to be a place that is worth their salt. So carrying brands that have huge recognition just alone by itself at lends credibility to uh, to your guys' shops. So that alone is a reason to, to partner up with a brand like a Sony. But and well, they make Sony does make some incredibly expensive and, and high end speakers. The GS series is that that more of that uh, meat and potatoes, right? That everyday consumer will be able to afford, and they will and they'll be comfortable buying, and they're getting a Sony quality speaker. And not only that, from I learned this yet last night, Sony GS speakers have a three-year warranty. There you go. So again, now you're giving the customer a great retail price point. So again, there's a great retail price point. You're giving them a great brand. You're giving them dependability with a warranty. And then also, the thing that when I was traveling around that, uh, most of the dealers That's right, you, did, like, you traveled around the, the other day. Most, was again the margin potential. So it's a very reasonable price point for your customer. Your customer's gonna like the price point, but at the same time, you guys get to make some great margin on this. And hey, we talk about it all the time. You know, we like, we, we love what we do. We love servicing our customers, but you gotta keep the lights on. <laughs> you gotta make sure you're covering the rent and all the heat and everything during the winter time. So we operate our businesses off of profit dollars and there's tons of it in there with Sony. So uh, a huge, uh, you know, uh, just a, a huge opportunity for you guys in general. But we there's, almost, we almost. We've already we glossed over the yeah, fact that there's a it's contest. It's a contest going on. So I, I don't know, should I try to lift this thing again? Uh, let's take a quick, we'll see if let's I can, can jump around here. Yeah, we'll see if we can. Uh, Together, right? Yeah. If we lift this up, Ooh. here we go. So Sony partnering up with GoFast and Blaupunk to offer out a free Blaupunk e-bike to one lucky GoFast supporter. And all you gotta do is support Sony GS speakers. So we've done different promos like this in the past. One purchase equals one entry. So uh, a opportunity to really put right. the, uh, swing everything into your favor. And to support that as well, we're doing a Baker's Dozen sale. So if you buy a 12-pack of them, we're going to throw one in for you for free. Maybe that goes into a demo vehicle. Maybe it goes into your boards. Maybe it just cost average it in with your stock and you make and a little bit of extra money. And bring even more margin on these. Exactly. But either way, you're going to get the uh, to take advantage of that as well. So not only do you get the great speakers, you get to make the great money on it. You get to take advantage of a promo and potentially get yourself a ball punk e-bike. That you could throw on your showroom and turn into more and cash. turn into more cash, right? Start another part, another another uh, uh, revenue builder in a in a Blah Punk e-bike sitting on your on your showroom floor. So if it's sitting on your floor, folks are going to ask you about it. And if it makes sense and you and and the the, the value is there, and it is, uh, start a whole new a whole new uh, revenue stream for you in your business. Yeah. So this is going to be going through the end of February. So uh, we've been tracking sales at the beginning of February. And we're going to be going all the way through. We're going to announce the winner on the first uh, Facebook it's March Live. 6th. It's March 6th. Uh, it's a Wednesday. It'll be our first Facebook Live after the close of, of February. So tune in for that because one of you guys that buys Sony GS speakers this month is going to walk away with that Blah Punk e-bike. Yeah, so get those competitive juices flowing. Get out there and, and go better your business. Go win yourself a bike. Don't let the wife or the kids take it. They're going to come <laughs> in the showroom. They're going to see it. Don't give it to the kids because nope. <laughs> they'll love it. They'll love it and you'll never get it this back. This is the demo. Once I sell two or three of these babies with the money that we make up those, we'll get each of you one and, you know, have a little plan there. But this one should be a, a nice demo piece. I think that's going to be a, a huge opportunity. And especially coming into the more warmer months, the, the request for these things is going to start to become astronomical. Get in front of, uh, ahead of the curve, get out in front of it, and, uh, and be the, the shop in town that's ready to take that money when it's there. Be, be the guy in town that the other shops are going, hey, how many of those bikes are you selling? Oh, you're doing pretty well on those. Well, I, I better get those in there now. Right, right. Now, now, the, now, also, the also range, right? Yeah, try, right. trying to pull some of that, uh, that's them sales away. No, no, be the guy that's on the front uh, leading the pack out there. And then we talked about expansion into other categories. Not a new category for it. I don't want to say new, but it is something that I, I think is 
an opportunity for a lot of shops out there. Our vendor spotlight, new, new film. film. So again, uh, we are always talking about new categories, different revenue streams, staying diversified in your business. Again, you mentioned it earlier, we don't, we, we don't have a crystal ball here. You can't go out and be like, oh, this is what's gonna happen at the end of 2024, rolling into 2025, we could do this. Things just seem to be, uh, as time goes on, as technology changes, things to, it seem to, I don't know, lose a little bit of stability. I don't know exactly the way to say it, but the biggest takeaway is you got to stay light on you've your always, feet. You've always, you've got to evolve, right? I mean, there you go. I've been at this for a long time, and and I don't, I hate to date myself in this way, but when I got started in this business, the you know a big part of of the business was t pulling out an AM radio putting in an FM radio with an extra speaker, because they only had one speaker, so you'd have now two speakers for stereo. And that was an upgrade. Uh, I remember there were up, there was upgrades where we would have film on the back of the window for, for a rear window defogger, because that was an add-on in the aftermarket business. That, so I guess we're going far back, I think it was on my Model T, possibly. <laughs> but being diversified window film window film is a category that we've started i mean it was window film was here when when i got here in, in 2020 but from the efforts of the sales team and the efforts of of, of uh just you guys out there s window film has just blown up and there is a ton of margin talk about margin a ton of margin to be made with window film yeah the, the category within itself and before we even talk about new film and why you'd want to have new film as the film of choice it's just the category itself. Again, Bob mentioned huge margin opportunities. It's a, it's a great way. Again, we have a ton of guys out there that say, ha, ah, remote starters, a little soft compared to what they were previously, but I'm actually getting requests for audio. I'm still getting requests for some things that I normally wouldn't. I know a bunch of tint shops that are out there. I deal with them on a daily basis. I'll tell you what, who didn't slow down very, very much, tent shops window rest yep. so when when you're out there and you do have a little bit of downtime or you're trying to keep your installers busy if you don't have some of these uh extra categories under your umbrella and, and again extra categories for some shops some of these some shops this is your main you know this is where you're you're really making all the hay but uh on, on some shops where traditionally you may run into some slower times of the year with certain categories great opportunity to have somebody cross trained to keep that installer making money for your business making different offerings out there I, could, I couldn't tell you how many times somebody will come into one of my tent shops that offers out remote starters or something else uh, and then ends up doubling their ticket because the customer came in for maybe a single window replacement oh talking about the TSX I do have one window that needs to be replaced <laughs> uh, but anyway so if I was to go into a tent shop if that tent uh, shop is uh, is doing what they should be doing, they'd also look and say, hey, how about those headlights on the car? Hey, right. how about this? How about that? So a lot of tent shops are doing a tremendous job of being able to keep themselves busy in other categories. I think there's an opportunity on the reverse side for our guys that are doing more traditional 12-volt things to expand out into film. So. Again, huge margins in there. It's something that is uh, relatively easy to train your installers for. Again, we partner up with uh, some brands as well to offer training, so that's something that you can uh, talk to your salesperson about. But uh, something that's gonna keep creating revenue streams, we talked about margin and all those kind of things. We talked about your business running off of those profit dollars. Great way to go in. And what better brand than new, new film? New film, uh, the, the new film uh, uh, product line starts off with carbon. So carbon, uh, a carbon film. So their entry level is not even, uh, you know, the dyed film that you know we've all seen the cars try, ha heading down the, di the the highway, and you start to see the bubbled up ba back window that's purple. <laughs> that's right. That's the, that's that's the the result of a, a dyed film. A dyed film is like anything else; it will fade over over time. A carbon film, a carbon film is actually extruded. It's made out of carbon, so so, so it's not that that, uh, that that it's going to fade because it's actually a, a, a film that's extruded, and, and that's what extruded would mean that it's splayed out in that carbon, right? So, so they're taking little pellets. I've actually seen uh, uh, at at one of the uh, uh, one of the fabric of um, factories where they'll take the 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 the, the carbon and it gets it like little pellets, and it comes out in this film. 
and that's gonna it's, that's gonna not fade, and it's not gonna and it's gonna have high heat rejection quality. So you definitely want to take a look at uh, at the uh, new film Carbon Film because it's similar in price to that you know the entry level dyed film, but you get a much better product. And it's going to last you the, the, that customer those three to four years, right? Because that's what if, if you're if we're doing this and we're and we're and we're making uh, we know that we'll, that most cars are going to be in your cons customers' hands for uh, four, three, four, five years. That's what you want to make sure that a film's going to last that long. Because the worst thing that, the, to do is you know we, we talk about how we you make extra margin. You don't want to put in an inferior product and then have it come back because when that customer comes back and you're replacing it, that's time labor money that you're going to be now servicing your customer because that's most of you guys have great businesses and that's what you do you service your customers but that's not making you money so if you've got better product like the like the carbon you're not going to be pulling that film out because it's it started to turn purple on them so you're going to have fewer returns make that money and have your have the time to go make more right because it's proliferate versus doing returns and repairs. That's a huge, huge, huge point. Because again, we always have to be concerned with pricing. If I was to say, don't worry about pricing, you guys are just <laughs> gonna like take your computer, throw it in the garbage right now, be like, I can't even listen to this guy ever again. So obviously pricing becomes important, but you have to look at the bigger picture. Again, this is gonna be a very reasonably and aggressively priced film, but you will see some, some less expensive, some inferior product out there. Now, again, you saved your 35 cents on there, so congratulations, <laughs> you know, you threw that in the piggy bank and, and hopefully that'll just, you know, multiply in there and be, make you a millionaire. But what uh, you did in the meantime is you doubled the amount of labor that you're gonna have to do because you're gonna have uh, a customer go leave with a, a, a product, potentially experience an issue, potentially tell other customers or potential customers about an issue that they had at your shop. And all of a sudden, you're scrambling to try to replace film, try to make things right. You're still going to have a guy that's going to leave you that quarter star review on Google or wherever else they're leaving their reviews. And it wasn't your fault. You did a tremendous job on the installation. You were very, very professional. Your sales staff, your installers, everybody did everything right. And it was your film that failed you. That's about the worst experience that you could potentially have uh, when it comes to, to being a, a, a great tint shop. So get that out of the mix right get, get into something that's gonna be a little bit nicer film that is gonna again still keep you very profitable don't let it forget that's a, you know that's and you you make such a great point when you take a job and you talk you start looking at let's say some of the inexpensive dyed films and you figure what's it's going to take how much how much film do you need for that particular car and you're gonna you have that fixed price that you're selling it and then you compare and you take let's say like new film their carbon how much product is being used on a vehicle the difference between what you're using what with, with, with that cheaper dyed film you know, imported dyed film versus a, a new Car film it's extruded. pennies it's pennies for, on that car yeah if if it's a difference of and i'm probably ex exaggerating five to seven bucks on a vehicle in terms of material cost but that five or seven bucks that maybe you invested in a carbon film to your point if it doesn't, if it doesn't, you know, if it saves you one time that a customer comes back, how much did you, how much money have you made? Because you didn't have to stop. You're you're making money by going to service a customer that you have to service because you sold him something. So yeah, you're paying your guy twice. You're tying up the bay time twice. Again, we don't have to explain it to you guys. You, you guys have all run into that situation. Even if it wasn't with film, it was it was with something else. Anything. We've all run into those things. So partnering up with a, a, a very reputable and tested film brand is going to be imperative when it comes to those kind of situations. The other thing with uh, uh, with new film is that it gives you a couple different steps as well. So, you know, we obviously we talked about the carbon, but there's also some carbon IR films. We have right. some IR film that's out there as well. Gives you an option to step your customers up. So a majority of sales, I, I would say for most shops, is going to, just like with most categories, it's going to kind of live in the lower price points. So you're going to get a lot of people that will come in. You'll be able to still service and make some money in there. But you got a lot of new cars that come out. So maybe some people that have some different needs that are going to want the increased heat rejection that you get out of uh, your higher end films. New film is going to be able to offer that as well. And I think right there is really where the big win is, at least from you know what we see out there for the quality. Now you're starting to see 
a huge Huge. difference in the pricing as well. So if you want to step your customer up, if you want to offer something out where you can make a little bit more money on on these cars, this is really, really where I feel like new film just comes in and knocks it out of the park. I think the film itself is tremendous. But now you're talking about that extra money and extra price point. It's, you know, part of part of our job, part of your job out there is to educate the consumer, right? So the consumer, if the if we don't teach them any different, the consumer is going to say, well, tint is tint is tint is tint is tint and just make my windows dark and I'm great. But if they don't understand that, you know, a, a ceramic is going to have higher heat rejection, a ceramic, you'll be able to, let's say, have a lighter color because you don't want to, you know, in, in many states, dark film on the front uh, windows could could incur a, 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 a ticket, right? In some of them, in some states there, it could be illegal. Uh, I think in Connecticut, I think it's 35 on the on the front is legal. Yep. Uh, I believe that's the same for, for New York and a, a number of other states. So... With with the carbon, you can have a lighter color, but have bet- if the same, if not better, heat rejection because of the makeup of carbon film. And you've got to be able to educate your customer so they know the difference. Right? So if they're if they know the difference, uh, then you can build you build value into it. They understand and they may they may opt for that. Provide. I mean, we we're all we're all consumers, right? We all have we could all go out there and we could all dirt, drive a Yugo, but we don't. Right, because somebody somebody showed us that there was value in this vehicle over that vehicle, and you valued something that was in that vehicle. It's the same thing. It's just education. If we educate our our customers as to the differences between uh, different films, some people, not all, but some people are going to see the value in the high heat rejection, in the look, the feel of a ceramic film, and it's the same work. And you're like to your point, you're now exponentially increasing your margin and as well you said still, we got to keep the lights on yeah, still a film that doesn't come back still a film that you're not going to have to pay your installer two times one to put it on one, one to, to take, take it, it off on again so again tremendous tremendous opportunities here if you're not in the category already please explore it with us we have everything that we need to help you get set up we've got some guys on the staff i'm going to shout out mike kava who helps me out and I think every single time that I run into a, a problem with tin or an and he's so a cheery. question, oh, always, <laughs> always willing to help. I mean, I, he's actually called uh, dealers on my behalf to, to help out, but we'll get you set up from the film to the tools that you're going to need. We'll get you some inside tips on, on the best way to apply the film or some differences on how a carbon extruded film may feel versus a dyed film. These are all things that we have staff members that are very, very, very versed on. So we can help you get yeah. started if you're trying to get started. And then we can help you on the high end too. If you're a guy that's been doing you know, tinting for 20, 20 plus years, you think you know everything under the sun, we've got guys on, uh, on the team that have those same kind of war stories and can help you out in a pinch there too. So, so please make sure you, uh, you utilize us for, for that. And again, thank you to, uh, personally from, from me to you, Mike, thank you for helping me increase my new film sales. Yeah, no, if you're gonna talk about sales guys, uh, that's like something near and dear to my heart. Our sales guys, I'm amazed because it's like each one of our sales guys has uh, a wealth of knowledge and some of them are specialized. And we talk about Mike and his specialization in window film. I met Mike you know, 20 years ago and he was tinting vehicles. Um, and uh, you know, he's just got a ton of knowledge. I mean, you have talked to Johnny. I mean, uh, everybody, uh, Scotty, Nate, you, all of the guys have something that they've that, that that they've they've have war stories from being in that in the in the trenches exactly where you guys are and when you pick up the phone and dial to speak to somebody at GoFest and you get your a sales rep on the phone it's somebody that's got some knowledge or that's somebody that can that knows what you're talking about it's like that's the worst thing in the world when you when you get somebody on the phone and I may not know what I'm calling about because I don't understand it completely. And if I have to speak to somebody who also knows as much as I do or less, we're going nowhere fast. When you're calling GoFast, you're getting on somebody on the phone that knows the product, that knows the business, that knows the industry. And if he doesn't have the answer on the tip of his tongue, he's got a Ben, he's got a Johnny, he's got a Mike, that he, a resource that we can get back to you in no time at all with the right answer. So just the, again, whenever you start talking about the sales guys, I get all passionate because we've got the best sales team yeah, in the industry. And sometimes it's kind of crazy things. Again, I, I was never a tinter. Again, I was the guy underneath the dash, you know, doing a lot of the installs. So again, a lot of my knowledge is there, but I was never a tinter. You know, I've tinted the windows on my garage. Don't go by the house and take a look at them because it's not going to help anything else for 
us, but but uh, certain very very small things. The type of metal that's used in razor blades matters. Right. Again, most tent guys are going to know this kind of thing. But if you're just getting started out, you're going on and you're trying to do this yourself. You go on Amazon, you're like, oh, I'm going to grab this, that, that, and that. Next thing you know, you damage a, 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 a window on a customer's vehicle. It's the first one you've ever done. You've just put all of this money and time into trying to start a new category. Now, all of a sudden, the first vehicle you do, you have to put an insurance claim in. Or you got to put out a whole bunch of money out of pocket so you don't put an insurance claim in. And the amount of money that you put out, you're going to have to tint 12 other cars just to make just it up. catch up. We can help you uh, avoid those initial mistakes. Again, I'm shut on Mike one more time, but helping guys get those uh, starter packs, I guess you could call them, or the initial stuff that you're going to need, always helping out with those kind of things. Very, very uh, important, but also a service that GoFast can offer out to you as well. So, Ben, uh, so we talked a little bit about new film, and since it's the brand of the week, we got a little something for folks with new film don't we yeah we're doing like a lot of teasers i like to do i like to do teasers lately i've been saying the word teaser on a lot of these shows too i don't know <laughs> he's a little weird weird guy <laughs> yeah but so little teaser here if you're looking to go ahead and maybe it's time you looked in the in the uh, warehouse or well not our warehouse you looked in your back room and you said ah, i could probably go and grab a couple extra rolls i know things are going to start ramping up soon well, we've got a, a deal where if you buy two rolls of film, we're going to get you a free roll of film. Now, there are some exclusions. There are some specifics on the sizes and the VLTs. That's where the teaser part comes in. So you're going to have to call me after I get back to the desk. You have to call Mike, Jonathan, all the other sales guys and uh, get those specifics. But a great opportunity to get some additional tint into your, uh, into your shops at a reduced price. Again, margin, 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 margin. So make sure you get with us on that. I don't believe that this is going to be something that we are going to be emailing out. No, this is this is a this is a uh, call our call your GoFast sales rep and uh, and he'll give you the, the lowdown. But yes. you're going to be buying two rolls of film and you're going to be getting something for free, right? Yes. Another roll for free. So buy and get for free. Whew, we like that. Who's better? What's better than that? Yeah. So again, we're gonna we're gonna do our job as a sales team to get out to you. But if you're watching the Facebook Live right now. Make sure you call in. There is going to be some limited quantities, especially Absolutely. especially if you are looking for specific VLTs on the free rolls. There is going to be some limited quantities and some limited VLTs that are available. So call first. Yeah, early bird call gets first. the worm. Go first get them. First serve. So go ahead, get to us. And I think on that note, I, I better get back to. You better right because your phone might be ringing and you don't want to miss a sale. Yeah, we we, we don't have time. I don't want my guys to be the ones missing out on the select VLT that they wanted. Right. And we also got to check on Johnny and make sure make sure he's he's okay and he's sitting up straight. Sure I'm still taking calls. He hasn't thrown anything against the wall, so I'm I'm worried. He's too quiet. Yeah, well, thank you, yeah, thank you guys again for for joining us. I got a feeling you know we'll be doing this again next week too. We'll so. do it again next week. Johnny will hopefully be back. He'll be feeling better. And in in the meantime, guys, call your GoFast sales rep. We've got a ton of things going on. You want to be part of it. Yep. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day.